Hello there and welcome to a new episode of The Power of Surrender with Hugh, where every day we take a card from this deck here, The Power of Surrender by Dr. Judith Orloff. And I chat with you about an individual card, uh, hopefully to give you some inspiration and some food for thought in these challenging times that we're living in at the moment. Today's card, my friends, is Surrender to Miracles. A very, very cool card there, as you can see, the dolphins and the moonlight, and uh, very, very beautiful. Let me read what it says to you. It says, I'll put it over here. Um, be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish, excuse me, I was looking at what? Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. Now, this um, can be a challenging one for those who, who do not have uh, any belief in, in a higher power. But um, to come to expect miracles and, and that wondrous things happen all the time can be a bit of a stretch for some people, but that's okay. And I like the way the card breaks it down because it starts very, very simply and directly at the beginning saying, be open to miracles occurring in your life. That's the place to start. Just be open to the possibility that miracles can happen in your life, that good things can happen if you don't like the word miracle. Um, but it, it's, it's again, it's all about perspective and how we look at things. If you get up in the morning, you feel like, well, you know, I'm just doomed and I'm just you know, going to have a hard life and nothing's going to go well for me. Well, unfortunately, if that's what you're thinking, the law of attraction will draw that same energy to you. However, if you wake up in the morning, you're feeling, you know what? I'm open to, to a miracle. I'm open to something beautiful happening and uh, things working out in, in my favor. And just starting in that simple place of hope and being open to the possibility is where is the gateway to watching miracles happening all the time in your life. Now as the card goes on, it says, feel and know that these events are real. Very, very important wording. Feel and know that these events are really happening. Sometimes um, miraculous things happen and people say, oh, well, that's just luck. You know, it's just, you just got lucky this time. Um, uh, but uh, it really doesn't work out that way. When things, you know, come together in a way that just cannot be explained, the synchronicity of events of how things come together cannot be explained, that, that can be a miracle. Um, people talk about uh, my son Matthew learning how to talk um, because... You know, three or four he, he really didn't have the the volume of words and language that he should have had for his age some people think that was a miracle um you can argue and say that that we that we made our own look with that situation that he worked really hard to get that miracle to happen so miracles can, can come in different ways and it all depends on your perspective and what a miracle is but to simplify it down to this I'm going to take it from the point of view, as I already have, from somebody who perhaps isn't a huge believer in miracles. So you start by being open to the possibility. And then when the miracles and wonderful things happen, you have to you know, allow yourself to feel that and then to know, you know what, that, well, first of all, that felt really good. And wow, that was, that was like a miracle that just happened to me. And so you go from being open to it to accepting it it's very, very powerful, very simple, very powerful. This is the gateway to miracles becoming a regular occurrence in your life. Again, so feel and know that these words are events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So if you can let go of, of any resistance, you know, nah, that can't be a miracle. Nah, 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 nah this is crazy. You gotta, you gotta let go of that and banish any doubt that you have. And what you're actually doing, if you if you go through this step by step, um, is you're opening yourself up to these becoming a regular occurrence in your life. I go through it again, the beginning of the card is saying, just be open to the idea that it's possible. That's a huge step forward. Then the next step is when you have a miraculous experience, really allow yourself to feel it and appreciate it and know that it's real. And then the next part is to really take any doubts or, or niggling, oh, I don't know about this. Just, you've got, you've got to let go of that resistance. If you, the, the more you let go of that resistance, the more extraordinary miraculous things happen. I'm going to give you an example. My uh, acting teacher is by far, 
I, I believe the most successful acting coach in the world. It's a bold claim to make. But over the time that I've known him, eight years in class and another uh, two years since, I have never seen any group of actors so consistently book uh, work. And as the years have gone on, that work has got even bigger. The jobs have got bigger. Um, it's just incredible how so many actors uh, are working all the time in his class. And people would say, well, what, what is this? Well, in, in a different way, he's getting them to start and believe, first of all, that you can do it. Um, because when you come to Hollywood and, and Los Angeles, you're trying to, a struggling actor, you know, there's a lot of naysayers and negativity around. And uh, thankfully, I was part of a fantastic community in Mark's class. But basically, what happens is if you're around a group of people who are positive, who are encouraging, who are making you believe that this is possible, and then allowing you to appreciate and enjoy and know that these wins are real and possible, then you start opening yourself up to all the possibilities. And when you go into audition, you believe, why not? Well, there's no reason I can't book this. And that is a huge shift mentally. And this is part of, of the reason, I mean, he's a gifted uh, coach and a gifted teacher that obviously has a huge uh, role to play in it as well. But he is guiding these people through changing their attitude to things, to being open to booking some incredible jobs. Um, one, one girl in particular I can think of just recently booked um, in a very well-known uh, movie franchise and the latest uh, uh, part of that franchise and she was one of the leads in this which was which is you know um, and now on Amazon was in, the, in I think it could have been in the cinema briefly and then it's gone on to, on to Amazon and was way up there in the charts in, in the United States when it came out these are the type of um, uh, wins that uh, this same actress, if she'd walked into another class, would have been told, that's not going to happen for you. But Mark is one of those people, whether it was me coming in as a, as a more mature actor um, or, or younger people coming in straight out of school, Mark was like, there's no reason. He, he focuses on the positive aspects, what makes us all unique, what makes us all individual. And, and by seeing the strengths that we have makes us believe, oh, we can do this. And as a result, when you walk in, the people can just sense from you this person this person can do it they 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 they're confident and they're in the right headspace for us to take a chance and to book them now how does this fit into this it fits in perfectly into this because that's exactly what this is talking about if we take acting out of it i'm just using that as an example because that's what i know um be open to miracles occurring in your life see the common the common thread my acting coach is saying be open to the possibility that you can actually do this then when you win, when you book some gigs, feel it, appreciate it, enjoy it, and know that this these events are real. You've just done it. And when people see themselves, you know, on a billboard, I saw it so many times. You see people see themselves on a billboard, or they see themselves on, on TV and their family back home, wherever they're from, gets to see them on television. It's a, it's a game changer. And you're like, wow, I can really do this. And when you're, you see, you've gone from starting to believe to, to actually doing it. And then it says, let go of resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. And that's it. You just really, What you're doing is, when you think about it, the only thing that's stopping us from doing anything we want is we, we tell us, I can't do that. No, that's not happening. No, no, no. Or the naysayers are telling us. And it's like all this like heavy weight that's put down on us, like the weight of the world. We just take that off, unload it. And all of a sudden... Miracles happen to you all the time. I can tell you every single day, I find some kind of beautiful, miraculous thing that happens. Um, and and uh, today happens to be my birthday. I've had some nice things happen already. Um, but you, you st what this basically card is talking about is you changing your perspective and starting to expect and see wonderful things around you all the time. And a miracle doesn't have to be, you know, 100,000 uh, pounds or dollars in your bank. A miracle can be all kinds of different things. It can be so, a, a, a nice phone call you get. It can be uh, a gift that comes in the mail. It can be, there's so many different things that are uh, unexpected, um, that they are just beautiful, wonderful miracles in our lives. And when we start to look at it in that way, we start to see these synchronicities all around. And we start to see that there is a higher power that is involved. There has to be. There's no other explanation for it. Um, but I know that that's a stretch for some people. I hope by, by talking through the card, it shows you that there are steps you can take to start believing in these possibilities and the wonderful magic that's out there uh, in the universe all around us. 
Um, and I hope you got some inspiration and, and food for thought with this one. I'll be back again tomorrow with another episode. Have a great rest of your day.